Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss K-means plus plus clustering algorithm in machine learning with a simple example. First, we will try to understand what is a K-means clustering algorithm. K-means clustering is a distance-based unsupervised clustering algorithm where the data points that are close to each other are grouped in a given number of clusters or groups. If you look at this particular example, in this case, we have been given a data set. That particular data set is divided into three clusters here. The data points which are present in this particular cluster are close to each other. The same thing with respect to the second and third cluster over here. I have already discussed the k-means clustering algorithm. Also, I have solved many examples on k-means clustering algorithm. The link for those videos is given in the description below. Now we will discuss the different disadvantages of k-means clustering algorithm. The first disadvantage is before we proceed with the k-means clustering algorithm, there is a need to specify the number of clusters to be formed for the given data set. Identifying the optimal value of this particular k is a big issue. That thing is already discussed in other video. The link for that video is given in the description below. The other disadvantage of k-means clustering algorithm is we need to select the initial centroids for each of those particular clusters. Let us assume that I want to divide the data set into two clusters. What we need to do is we need to select the two initial centroids. Then we need to apply this particular k-means clustering algorithm. Let us assume that we have been given a data set. Uh, we will identify these three as the centroids. If I identify these three as the centroids, I will be getting these three clusters over here. This is the cluster one, cluster two and cluster three. For the same data set, if I identify this one as the first centroid, this one as the second centroid and this one as the third centroid, I will be getting these three as the clusters here. For the same data set, I am getting two different results with the two different sets of initial centroids. So this thing should not happen. That is the reason we need to select this particular initial centroids properly here. That is another big disadvantage of the k-means clustering algorithm. So in this video, we will try to address this particular issue. The identifying initial centroids is addressed with the help of k-means plus plus clustering algorithm. So now we will discuss the different steps in k-means plus plus clustering algorithm. The first step is randomly select the first centroid from the given data points. So when we have been given a data points, let us say that uh, these are the data points given to us. We need to select one data point as the first centroid here. So in this case, I have marked the first centroid with the blue color. So this will be considered as the first centroid here. Now, once you select the first centroid, the next step is to calculate the distance from each of the data points to this particular centroid. So in this case, we have different data points here. From each of these particular data points, we will calculate the distance to this particular centroid here. Now, once you calculate that particular distance, the next step is to select the data point which is having the highest distance. For example, if you look at here, this particular data point is having the maximum distance compared to the initial centroid. So this will be selected as the next centroid over here. So we got the two centroids in this particular case. Let us say that I want to select one more centroid. What I will do in that case is from these two centroids, I will calculate the distance to each of these particular data point. The one data point which is far away from these two centroids will be selected as the next centroid over here. If you look at this particular slide, in this case, this particular data point is uh, far away from this as well as this centroid. So this will be selected as the third centroid over here. Now, if you want to select one more centroid, again, the same method we need to apply. We need to calculate the distance from each of these particular data points to all these particular centroids. The one which is away from all these particular centroids that will be selected as the next centroid over here. In this case, this particular data point is far away from these three centroids. So this will be selected as the next centroid over here. So in this case, we have selected four centroids. We will be getting the four clusters here. If you want a fifth uh, cluster, again, we need to apply the same method. We need to calculate the distance from each of these particular uh, centroids. The one which is far away, that should be selected as a next centroid and so on. So this is the simplest process uh, what we apply in k-means uh, plus plus clustering algorithm so that we can select the initial centroids. Once you get this particular initial centroids, again, we need to apply the k-means clustering algorithm so that we can form the clusters over here. First, what we need to do over here is we need to apply the k-means plus plus clustering algorithm for the given data set. Based on the value of k, we need to select the 
initial centroids. Once you select this particular initial centroids, we need to apply the k-means clustering algorithm and then we need to divide this particular data set into different groups over here. In this video, I have discussed what is k-means clustering algorithm, what are the disadvantages of k-means clustering algorithm and how to overcome those particular disadvantages using k-means plus plus clustering algorithm. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.